Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL, Episode 6. Today we'll be using a library called Signal Loader in order to preload all of our shaders into their own in their own files, and then follow up and use them that way. So we have our vertex shader here, and we have our fragment shader here, uh, pretty much identical to Perk before. Um, we have our HTML file here, so we have the shaders in their own files now, uh, not within the script tag as it was before, uh, with data source, data type, everything else is the same. We have this new signals library here, our common library, and then point. Um, I'm not going to walk through the signals library, you can go ahead and read it yourself um, in the source, take a look. It's uh, authored by Miller Medeiros, take a look. It's pretty old. Um, so now inside of point, we just have this init function that takes a callback. And what the callback does is then it's going to call this function of main, which is where all the actual program happens. Uh, this is everything the same as before. So what this is going to do is, well, let's see. So we have this new init function here. And it takes a callback, and basically it finds all of the sources, and it ha uses the uh, signals library here to make sure the loaded signals is there, and it adds the callback after uh, it's done. So what loaded signal does is uh, add, there's an add function in signals library that when this whole function has finished, then go ahead and run the callback after. Uh, so what it allows this allows us to do is go through and grab all of the uh, shaders and make sure they're completely loaded before we run the main function. Uh, we've added a couple convenience um, XML HTTP requests uh, to uh, automatically go ahead and grab those um, shaders. So those are just convenience functions. Uh, to grab them with Ajax, and then once we have have all of the shaders uh, in the shader count that we're expecting, then we'll go ahead and dispatch to the signal library to go ahead and run that main function, uh, the, the callback, which happens the main function in this case. So uh, nothing really new here. Um, Oh, I guess this is slightly different as well, I should just say. We're grabbing the response text. We're still putting it identically on to the shaders library as we had previous. So this is all still the exact same. But outside of that, nothing super new. Uh, take a look, play with it. Um, if you like what you saw today, uh, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.